Did you know that a group of astronomers has uncovered the original disk of the Milky Way, which they've named Pangu? This discovery takes us back more than 13 billion years, and it's a huge leap forward in our understanding of how galaxies, like our own, form and evolve. In this video, we will explore the science behind this discovery, why it's so important, and what it means for the future of our understanding of the universe. A team of astronomers led by Dr. Mao Sheng Xiang of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has been studying ancient stars using data from the Gaia Space Telescope. Gaia has been mapping the positions and movements of over a billion stars in our galaxy, allowing astronomers to piece together the Milky Way's history. Through this data, they were able to trace back the motions of stars more than 13 billion years old identifying what is believed to be the original disk of our galaxy. They named this disk Pongu. Now, why is this so significant? Most of the brightest stars from that era have long since burned out. So finding surviving stars that can tell us about the Milky Way's earliest days is a monumental discovery. The team was able to identify differences between stars older than 13 billion years and those formed after 12.5 billion years ago. This early population of stars forms a relic of the Milky Way's original structure, technically its birthplace. Until now, most astronomers believe that the Milky Way's structured disk emerged around 12.5 billion years ago, but PONQ pushes this timeline back even further. This means that our galaxy started forming organized structures much earlier than we thought, and that's huge. Now, let's explore how Pangu evolved into the Milky Way we know today. When the Milky Way was young, Pangu wasn't as flat as it is now. It was almost as tall as it was wide. Over billions of years, it flattened down into the disc-shaped structure we see today. Think of it like dough being rolled into a thin pizza crust. This flattening process is fascinating because it shows how galaxies can change shape dramatically over time while preserving their overall structure. The discovery of this disk reveals that the Milky Way had a relatively peaceful formation compared to many other galaxies, which often experienced violent mergers early in their development. While chaotic interactions, including galaxy collisions and shape distortions, are common. Pangu suggests that our galaxy's growth was more steady, allowing the early disk to remain largely intact. Around 11 billion years ago, the Milky Way produced stars at a rate of about 11 solar masses per year. What's remarkable is that this growth wasn't disrupted by major collisions that could have shattered its structure. Observations indicate that less than one in six galaxies followed such a calm evolutionary path. This peaceful development likely contributed to the Milky Way's well-organized spiral form today. The ancient stars in Pangu have distinct chemical compositions compared to younger stars, providing key insights into the conditions of the early universe. Stars that formed more than 13 billion years ago are metal poor, meaning they lack heavier elements like iron and carbon, which are essential for star and planet formation. These elements were only produced later through stellar processes such as supernova explosions. Early stars, like those in Pangu, were primarily formed from hydrogen and helium, the primordial gases left over from the Big Bang. Supernovae also played a critical role in Pangu's evolution. The explosive deaths of massive stars dispersed elements like oxygen, carbon, and iron into space, enriching the interstellar medium. These elements became the building blocks for new generations of stars and eventually planets. Although Pangu lost a portion of its stars to these supernovae, the remnants contributed to the formation of future stars. This cycle of star formation, death, and the dispersal of elements is essential to understanding how galaxies like the Milky Way evolve, affecting their chemical composition and structure and even influencing the potential for life. 
The role of dark matter in galaxy formation is also crucial to understanding how Pongyu and the Milky Way as a whole maintained their structure. Dark matter, though invisible and undetectable through conventional electromagnetic observations, exerts a powerful gravitational influence that is central to the stability of galaxies. Dark matter halos are thought to surround galaxies, providing the gravitational framework that binds visible matter, such as stars and gas, together. In the case of Pongu, its well-preserved structure suggests the presence of a stable and robust dark matter halo from the galaxy's earliest days. This halo likely protected Pangu from the violent disruptions that many other galaxies experience through mergers and interactions. While other galaxies were distorted by chaotic collisions and star-forming bursts, Pangu's more peaceful evolutionary path allowed its original disk to survive intact. By examining the role of supernovae and dark matter in Pangu's evolution, astronomers can better understand the forces that shaped not only our galaxy, but also the broader mechanisms governing galaxy formation and development throughout the universe. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the universe, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. In the comments, let us know what you think about Pangu and if there's anything else you'd like to learn about. Until next time, keep looking up.